Hi guys, James here, Gaming Central PH. Today we'll be unboxing and reviewing the newest controller of Omelette Gaming, which is the Omelette Super Deck. So with that name, I think they're trying to rival the Nitro Deck controller. There's nothing fancy about the packaging. So it's pretty much standard. It doesn't come with a manual or a charging cable. It's just a controller and that's it. This is half the price of a Nitro Deck controller. Connecting it to a Nintendo Switch tablet is pretty easy. All you have to do is slide it in. You also have a switch that you can toggle if you're gonna be using a V1, V2, or a Nintendo Switch OLED tablet. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that there's no scratch at the back plate. Let's go ahead and play Super Mario Kart. I just want to try the gyroscope. That's why I booted this game up. And as you can see, it's very accurate. The Super Deck does not come with any manual instructions on how to operate this controller. You just have to figure it out yourself. Good thing it's pretty easy to use. For you to adjust the RGB lighting, all you have to do is press this button and it will cycle to the available color pattern. And you also have an option to change the brightness of the RGB. No manuals needed. For the joystick, they're actually using a smaller version. It's somewhere between the middle of a PlayStation Vita and a Nintendo Switch. For the grips, we do have here a Mamba Blade-like grips, which looks great, but it's actually not that comfortable. It also has an excellent stand which I really like, and a pass-through charger. Though I would love it if this charger was actually placed on the top part of the case instead so that you can easily play while charging. If you want to remove the tablet, it's really easy to remove. Just push it off the controller and you're good to go. If you want to use a V1 or a V2, we just have to flip the switch. We're now testing the face buttons while playing and the release. Face buttons is actually really smooth, crisp, responsive. I really like how it feels and it's not gonna fade since it's crystallized. If you're planning on playing fighting games, you might want to pass on this controller because the D-pad is actually terrible. It's almost the same as the first Omelette wireless controller that they have, though they did made some advancement with their Pro controller, but for the wireless controller, they have the same quality. Like, it's kind of stiff. As you can see right now, I'm having a hard time doing Hadouken. Instead of using the D-pad, they'll just be using the joystick while playing platformer games like Metal Slug. For the triggers, they're actually using mechanical keys. So it's really nice. It's nice to touch. It's nice to press. Though the only downside for this type of material is that if you're going to be playing some shooter games, you might not feel that intensity whenever you're pulling the trigger. But if you're going to be playing some, let's say, Nintendo games that doesn't require that feeling of you shooting, then this is the controller for you. The triggers that they have here is actually designed for quick responses. Right now, we're playing Mortal Shell, and it's actually easy to do get good since you only have short triggers. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison to the Nitro deck. And the Omelette Super Deck is definitely not 
a Nitro Deck killer simply because it lacks most of the features that the Nitro Deck has. Though it has some advantages like the kickstand, it's a lot better compared to the Nitro Deck. You also have cool RGB lighting. And if we're going to talk about the price, the Omelette Super Deck is only half the price of the Nitro Deck. Though I may say I kind of missed the mappable back button and the proper placement of the pass-through or charging port. For the triggers, it's kind of subjective whether you want the short distance by the Super Deck or the soft touch by Nitro Deck. That's really up to you. So before I give my final verdict, let me just show you first the Space Dock version 2 that I really like. So you can charge 4 Joy-Cons at the same time. Third-party controllers will work as well. And you have an option to cycle through the lights. But if you want a steady light, that will work as well. Pricing-wise, the Super Deck is priced at less than $30. Space Dock version 2 is around $9 without discount. Like what I said earlier, this is not a Nitro Deck killer, but you can definitely consider this as an alternative. There is a controller made by Dolby called Eggshell. The Omelette Super Deck is definitely an upgraded version of that controller. They have almost the same price range and similar features. So with that being said, this is James again from Gaming Central PH. Stay safe and happy gaming everyone.